G'day guys, continuing from my previous video, checking out the Allied Nations on the Mod Valkyrie, I'm going to check out the Axis Nations. So first off Germany, you can see the historically accurate flag, uh, given the go-ahead by Delta Dude. So it's okay, and uh, won't get banned. So let's have a look. Uh, firstly Germany, uh, what do we have here? We have basically the vanilla staple Germany still maintains her strength in MGs, late game armor and stealth options. However. New special point options such as Das Reich and Blitzkrieg give German players more options than the tried and trusted vanilla model of the Vet Sniper to Brandenburgers to Vet Tiger options. So what do they have as veteran riflemen? So they've got the G43s, 26 MP, the Elite CQB Infantry 115 is a pretty cheap one, MP40s and I think the leader has the SDG, not bad at all, pretty good. Um, nothing much else to see there. Pretty much the same for artillery, support weaponry, the same. Looks as a 265, a bit cheaper than the other mod. Uh, let's have a look at tank support. They've got the Panther Os D. What's the difference between this and the usual Panther Os G? 32 speed, 32 speed, armor 82, 110, penetration uh, 103, range 140. Exactly the same as the other one. Armor the same, just doesn't have this armored slope part. If anyone can uh, clear this up for me, probably Jutska, if you can. I can't tell the difference other than that sloped armor thing. The model looks very, very close too. Probably <laughs> identical, so let me know. Uh, so uh, in the tank destroyers, pretty much the same there. Just price changes here and there. Oh, Jag Tigers, almost 2,000. Uh, so special points, German use, still the same. I guess they're the... Relative troops with the MG42s as the Bullet War mod. Uh, this is a new one, Panzer III Flamer at 2 SP. Um, it's going to be a pretty good buy at 2 SP at that stage of the game. It's I guess there's going to be some 2 pounders out, etc. Like not 2 pounders, 6 pounders could be out, and M1s, AT guns to take it out. But that will be quite handy if you put the armor at the 2 SP range. Uh, all the same here. Daz Reich, this is, a, this is the new one. Uh, so, this is two half tracks full of Panzer Grenadiers, I'm guessing. Uh, yep, let's check out these guys. Black kind of Stormtrooper uniforms. Uh, all the same here, Vet Tiger. Then we've got the Royal Tiger at 9 SP, which is, yeah, just a King Tiger, I suppose. Yep. So, I guess that's uh, replaced the Hungary one. Hungary must have uh, got something else now. Let's, we'll take a look at that later. So what's next? We've got um, over here, Japan. So Japan, what's the spiel? The, it's best used when waging economic cost efficiency war with a potent mortars and excellent value penetration guns on the tanks. The TAR-C gives Japan a new effective mobile AA that can help alleviate the strain of the allied early game pressure. Good Japanese players are crafty players. They are also lethal players. Okay, Veteran riflemen. Uh, what they have here? Looks like an M1 Garand. It's a Type 4 automatic rifle. I don't know the stats on that. That's a relatively cheap veteran rifleman. Elite CQB, a bit more expensive than the German 1125. With the Type 100s, a uh, bit better. And I guess the Type uh, 2, was it? Type 2 SMG, yep. And uh, nothing changed in the artillery. Really, just prices. Uh, over here is the Tar C that they're talking about. All the rest are the same. Tar C 260 MP. Pretty much the same price as the other looks uh, kind and that. But I think it has better armor. So 25, 25, oh, not really. Um, just 20 millimeter, I guess. So it's an option for Japan uh, to have a 20 millimeter. That's not the Zuzu AA truck, which yeah, not many people like. But that's damn, it's pretty cheap though. So I think it'd still be bought in comparison to the Tarsi. Tarsi, I guess, if you want a bit more armor. Because uh, this can get killed by small arms and it's got an awkward arc of fire. So a decent option, I suppose. Uh, on the tanks, nothing new here, all the same. Uh, also, the tank destroyers, all the same. Uh, here, kamikazes, I think they're the same. Why are they... Uh, the icon's missing, probably just a coding problem. Uh, but at the other one special point, we've got the Kunu, which is interesting. That's a really good one in speed, to be honest, like compared to the other nations having like the Panzer I, um, Panzer I for that. But this, these guys have a 180 Kunu with some infantry at the back. Definitely economical, and I think that'll be probably my choice in most of the games, to be honest. Um, over the, these guys. I guess Kamikaze will be good, some maps too. 
But AT rifle grenade is actually good now. I don't know if it's uh, the same in the mod, in this mod, than the Lord at War, but uh, that looks accurate. Yeah, it's accurate. It's still accurate. So um, I think <laughs> Japan one special points are probably my favorites in the game. Uh, then Nato. It's a Nato. Three SP. This is a what's this? An anti tank? I don't know. Seventy five mil. Not bad. At all. Type five. So that's the same one as the AA gun here, which is this one here. Type five. Yep. So it's very potent. One forty range. Ninety seven millimeters penetration. Can take it a crop easily. I think. Is uh, out of range, but um, um, yeah, but I guess it's uh, very susceptible to to stuff because it's not that powerful in armor. Uh, decent buy, I suppose. It's a good option to choose. They've that's got they've got really good three SP options, some mid game options. Uh, later on, Banzai's still there. Only three, only I is eight SP. So uh, yeah, they're formidable indeed. I like uh, Japan a lot as an access option still. Uh, let's see Italy now. So Italy, what's the spill on them? An allied nation in Axis close. Italy is uncharacteristic for uh, Axis nation. Relatively weak in the late game. However, they are they have an arsenal of early game options that will surprise player players due to the amount of pressure they themselves will feel. The Africa Corps, the Africa Corps give Italy a ready-made bait with the 38T to entice the opponent into the big tank counter, only for a flak 88 to finish it. Well, icons missing here, but uh, nice, uh, nice uh, icons over here. Paraduzzi is renamed these ones to uh, interesting ones. Let's see what the oh, okay, so they come in half track now. There was a, in the World at War mod, we had a unique uh, small half track for them. But, uh, interesting. Uh, the MG, they've got their own. Okay, so it's added the Bread and Madola 30. Um, Elite MG, they have we've got the 7.2 mm Breda Safat. Interesting. Let's see how it sounds. 250 quick, nice. Sounds like a really good Elite MG. Uh, elite Marksman, same price as the Japanese one. We've got the Modelo 9, 1891. Um, sorry, Elite CQB Infantry, 5 SMP less than the Japanese one. They've got the Model 42 on all of them. They've got the M. Okay, interesting. Looks like a rifle, but it's a. Uh, uh, fires like an SMG. Um, what do they have? Vet Rifleman. They've got the Scotty Model X. I don't know any of these guns, sorry, but that's automatic, automatic one. Uh, for the transport and procurement, few light options. So that's the one with the AT gun. Yes, it is. And uh, for the emplacements, we've got the usual 20 mil. It's cheap, cheap 20 mil 160. That's that 280. Mortar, 280 MP for mortar, just a normal mortar, uh, usual AT gun options. Okay, so this is the howitzer one, I think. Yeah, it's the howitzer one there in MP now. It was a one special point in the World at War. Then you got the uh, usual one here, which is the, which is the nasty light anti-tank gun, 37 penetration at 130, and some more other anti-tank options. Uh, they've got the uh, 88 type one, or 90mm in this case, a bit better. Uh, and then your normal German howitzers uh, over here. You've got the L33 at 170. Is this the 20 mil? Well, it's a 20 mil one. Okay. So 20 mil L33. Only got a three clip though. Oh no, it hasn't. So <laughs> um, what did? So that actually came with less. Uh, maybe it, it's not uh, fully loaded when it spawns. Interesting. Uh, Auto blindo. That's a 47.7 inch anti tank gun. 20 mil Scotty, 250 MP. Um, some more light tank options. So a lot of light tank options, I guess. Then you've got this new one, the Amato P40. This isn't in the World at War. 7.5 mm gun. It's um, pretty, sorry, pretty tough armor. 50, 50 body, 60 turret uh, for 430 MP. In a similar range, you have the Panzer IV, I suppose, with uh, less turret armor and a non-slope. So it looks like it's uh, it's worth its money. Uh, Panzer H 10 MP more. Not sure why. Maybe the Panzer H on the Germany side is the same price. Hopefully. Uh, tank destroyer wise, you've got lots of options. Some Aventes and different varieties. Just additional penetration and additional armor going up. Got the Stug as well at 590. Interesting. Then the Semivente 75. 
Is this the, the HE one? No, it's not. Okay, so it's anti tank destroyer. And, uh, what the hell? What's the difference? Oh, okay, so it's the armor difference. 100 armor. This one's got better gun, but shit armor. I probably like this one better. So, to go to for Italy in the World at War. So, for specials, Polizia Militare, like the Carabiner is in the World at War, I'm guessing. Just a, a low tier squad. Uh, Cassia Cardi, what's this? A uh, small squad, I'm guessing these are stealth units with uh, decent HP, yep. I guess uh, third, tier, third tier scouts. Uh, L33F, one special. Ooh, nice rush unit, flames are up. Uh, Brixia Modella, what's the new ones? I guess this is a mortar. Light mortar. Um, it fires in. Okay, not bombardment wise. And we've got the ARMIR, what's that? Uh, looks like a Brandenburger type squad. Uh, Canon Movente at 3 SP. Oof, it's an 88. They fire um, 90 millimeters, 90 millimeter. Okay, good option for a massive tank destroyer. Destroying, I think it's 150 range, isn't it? No, 140. <coughs> Yeah, 140. Uh, Panzer End, uh, you should go to for Italy in the World at War. Uh, Simovente M43, is that the tank destroyer? No, it's not. It's the HE. Um, okay, it's like the Sta 42. Uh, 6 SP hmm, Panzer KV-1B. Sounds like a mixed Soviet <laughs> type tank. It's a Germany type tank, but uh, well, big tank. 105 armor in the front, I think, looking at that. Um, 6 SV, okay. What gun is this? It's a uh, 75 mil. Okay, gun doesn't seem too great, but uh, got decent armor there. Uh, quite expensive uh, for, I think, for it because the Tiger is nearly uh, the same price and it's got better armor and a better gun. Uh, this is the artillery, I guess. So, well, this is a huge one. 7, S 7, um, 7 SP for a giant artillery. With, uh, Definitely could be worth it. And um, Elephant to 80 speed. A lot of new stuff for Italy. Um, what's next? So next we've got Hungary. So Hungary specializes in fire support and late game firepower. Indirect fire weaponry such as the Bison means that Hungary can utilize elevation changes to advantage. Late game beasts such as the Titaz 44 will be the final nail in the enemy's coffin. Special point, special point infantry def, deficiencies means that Hungary player must be clever to survive early game or rely upon his partner for aid. Okay. Bet Rifleman, we have the ZH 29. The Elite CQB infantry, we have the, the Nuvia. That's a, that's a great gun. Uh, what do we have here? Interesting support options. These are all new. Just different cars, I guess, pretty similar to what the counterparts do. Won't go through them. I've got the Hotchkiss uh, 170. It's the French gun, isn't it? Yeah, that French uh, 20mm. Uh, Solar Thumb. Uh, wow, okay, is this the AT gun? It is too. Nasty. So you can buy it for 100 MP now, that's great. That'd be good for defense for uh, Hungary. Uh, usual pack 40, pack 38 options. Uh, look at the Bofors as well. Nice. Some good emplacements. Um, the same here. Toldi, Sespa, 38T, Toldi M, Nimrods. Uh, Nimrods in, in a buy here too. Okay, cool. Lots of uh, cool light options. Um, Toldi I, 255. It looks as 265. They're pretty similar. But, uh, the Toldi is cheaper. Uh, Turan. Uh, the usual Turans, the Panzer H variety, which is a better turret armor. The N variety, I'm guessing. This is the N one, isn't it? Panzer N type one? Yep, it is. So I've got the same options as Germany, really, in terms of tanks. And that's a, a, a bit of a gap till the Taz 44, though, which is quite expensive. Uh, next, we've got the Hetzer. Uh, what's this? Uh, uh, we've got the Hetzer. Seven, okay. Zrenry 40, what's the difference? Okay, one's a HE lobber. 
and one's a non-HE lubber, I think. Yep, that's a HE lubber. Uh, 105. Okay, so they can... That's cheap, man. That's good. Okay, compared to like a Stug, it's like similar to a Stug. Oh, I guess the armor's less, but not really. To a Stug 42. I think that's cheap, in my opinion. I like it. Uh, Taz 44 MTD. Big tank options here. Uh, Cispa 40M, same one for a rush. You can, if you can compare this to the to the Kernu rush, that's uh, a lot, a lot less. That all you can do is even got less tank crew and this hasn't got a gun. So, uh, um, the Kernu one special points definitely above and beyond this. Uh, what's this? Calabrasi, I guess it's just like a Black Watch type squad, less infantry but uh, more SMGs. Uh, Panzer D for two special points. Panzer Panzer. Oz F? This is the Oz F one? Okay. And to Oz F D for two SP points. I think this is just light armor, 30 armor, but uh, still has 75 mil. Yeah, to be honest, the armor doesn't. You don't really care about the armor in this type of gun because um, you can hide behind a hill. So that's definitely worth it, to be honest. Much better than the 3 SP Panzer N. Uh, Laszlo Infantry. It's like the Brandenburger variety, yep, probably. They're full on anti tank weaponry. Aerocross Fanatics, what's the difference between these and the Aerocross Fanatics? Um, I guess they're bigger in number. Bigger in number, HP wise. They're normal squad. These guys are. It's a third tier. Okay, third tier to second tier, you get a couple more. Hmm, interesting choice between them. You get a. Uh, Five, five in the this one you get four. I don't know. These guys look a lot better. You just get extra two guys and they're upper tier. I'm gonna question that by. And uh, this must be a similar sis. Oh, this vehicle. This is the vehicle that was in a uh, special point. Oh, it was the same thing, isn't it? Yeah, it was already in in the World War One. Uh, three SP got the Skoda T25. What's this? This is a new one. Skoda. Isn't that a French uh, company? Oh, I don't know. Um, hmm. Very uh, sloped armor. I don't know. 75 mil gun. Yeah, pretty good. That's like a. That's oh, a revolver. It's got fast reload, like the French, the French gun. Yeah, now it reloads a long time. It's got a three clip and has to reload a long time. That's an interesting tank. Hey, armor wise, 60. The strongest part is 60, so I'm guessing it's the front side is probably maybe 10. Is that 10? That must be, I don't know, quite low. Rapid Corps, I guess that's just a mechanized infantry standard uh, radio operator, same. Okay, 4SP, a lot of low SP uh, specials, which will keep them in the game, I think. The SIG. Ooh. Okay, it's just um, quite slow. What's so good about this? It's only 125 range, 150 mil, probably just really takes out tanks, so if a HE shell hits, the explosion is small, but um, 150 mil, maybe it will destroy a hull of a tank quite well, because um, that's quite expensive, and it's going to reload very slowly too. Let's see what it does to, uh, to this tank here. Hmm, let's move this over back here. Da -da 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 -da. Take out the Skoda. Oh, ho, 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 ho. all right, that's what it does. <laughs> uh, 4SV though, it's got low range, so it needs kind of like a tow to send it away, to, to, to uh, drag it away when someone targets it. It's quite susceptible. Bison at 5. Oh, it's got the same, is it the same? 50 SIG? Okay, exactly the same. Gun. Okay, it has a bit of explosive damage that takes out tanks on the side. Hmm, I don't know, I don't want to risk it, this one, to be honest. I'd probably still spam the, um, hmm, I don't know. I think these guys look good to invite on paper to me. This and probably the Skoda 25 and perhaps if I need to, the others. What's the Brumba do? That's the, it's the artillery too, right? The 150mm Stir 43 Brumba. Um, 150mm, is it the same, exact same shell? Stir 43. Uh, Sig 33, Sig 33, okay, these are the same, but this is different, this is bigger, and it's got uh, heavy armor, 100mm in the front, okay, I don't know, 
Uh, interesting nation to play. Um, hmm. I think they're pretty good in defense. Finland. So Finland, extremely express, impressive quality of the infantry. Only America can threaten the Finnish infantry capabilities. Notably, their elite marksmen are highly lethal at the start of the game and often require a specific anti-marksman start versus the Finns. They also hold some unique dangerous artillery options, such as the veteran artillery, which will increase accuracy after each salvo. Okay, seems the same as the awarded war mod. Uh, icons have improved. That's nice, nice, nice. Uh, vet rifleman, 31 MP. Okay, it's the same automatic one. Yeah, put the fire rate on that, maybe. Elite CTV, they have the Soviet Pepesha 43s and uh, ooh, the Somi M31 for the squad leader. A nasty CTV infantry start. Wow, that's not much price difference. That's a good start. I like that start. And, ooh, Jutska, watch the model on that one. Uh, okay, I've got um, some Soviet options for lights. Uh, Lati 20 mils at the AT rifle. Yep, so decent AT rifle. Uh, both is pack 40 options there. What's this new one here? Okay, it looks like a both is, but uh, shoots a 76 millimeter shell. Interesting. Uh, is that more expensive than the pack? Yeah, it's uh, powerful, I guess. It's uh, probably like one of the the AA guns, like the 88s. A bit uh, less penetration, I think. Uh, in the support, you have the T60 mod. Wow, that's a cheap one. Is that uh, just MG? Yep, just MG. Then you've got a BT5 OT130 at 200 MP. That's pretty cool. Pretty good price. Still there. Uh, T50 290. That's always a good one versus the 20 mils. Uh, Landsberg at 375. T28 at 380 MP in tanks. What's this? This is the big baby. Yeah, that's the big one. That's, uh, oh, that's a HE lobber. Okay, so it's a H. Wow. 380 MP. That's good. Uh, T28, this is the big one. Okay, this is the, the heavier tank version, which is the anti tank variety. Uh, Panzer J, the H variety with the uh, manual crank. It's all the same as the Water War mod. Is the model the same? He's got the log still. Yeah, he does. Okay, so he's used, reused that. Uh, Swedish Volunteers, uh, same old. Indirect maximum support, the same old. It comes with one now, is it? Okay. Maybe it's more accurate now. Doesn't seem to fire like artillery. Must have better accuracy now or something. Uh, trench clear is two special points, same old. Um, this one. I can't remember this unit, but um, howitzer. Uh, white death. Still the same, 500, 350 MP, okay, so a bit less under uh, MP. Doesn't have a scope, does it? Still doesn't have a scope here. Yeah. Uh, Capture SU-152 with 4 SP, that's pretty cheap, hey? Oh no, it's this, this uh, BT-42. Uh, 20 detachment, the same, modified KV, yep, same old. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, just got the names wrong there. So that's, this is the real... SE-152. Then we've got the veteran RT. Uh, this is a new one, Charioteer. Interesting. So it's... Uh, ooh, it's got low armor, 64 max the front. For 6 X SP, it's... Uh, for 8 SP, wow. But the gun is uh, 84 millimeters. So it looks like a big gun. Uh, relatively medium armor. Interesting. Okay, looks like the infantry options are great. Like, I can see these uh, SMGs just tearing the start up in, in openings and the rest are quite unique. So that's the Excess Nation guys. Um, yeah, can't wait to see a game with, uh, with this. Thanks.